Welcome to ESD School, brought to you by Attract. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single episode. Enjoy the video. Hello everybody, today we will um, have a very small episode, uh, but the aim is to propose you a small exercise called the Limoges Sites exercise, um, which will, I hope, help you to do uh, helpful incisions for your ESD. Let's go. Uh, today we will discuss about incision first, but proposing you training exercise. Your, the target is to obtain a smile shape incision because it is the most helpful incision you will have to enter into the submucosa for the properly named endoscopic submucosal dissection because for the moment you are not into the submucosa so you should enter in it and place your scope in the um, submucosa but to reach the submucosal space you should do your incision and therefore your trimming in order to enlarge the space and be able to enter but uh, if you do something which is not a smile shape the um, area to enter the space will be very small not letting your scope getting into the submucosa so now we are doing the trimming it means cutting the first fibers of the submucosa in order to enlarge the space but what you want to reach is uh, the shape of a large sm smile which is a kind of uh, whale mouth in order to enter with the scope and the exercise to work this incision and to be able to propose this a smile shape was invented by the friends from Limoges, Jeremy and uh, an Italian fellow uh, who was there, uh, who is called Ludovico. Uh, they thought that they could work this uh, really precise movement of doing uh, the smile shape by orientating the scope and the knife always to the center of the lesion with a sight. Uh, so they did a paper with this shape and they tried in the box on the model to always follow the line being parallel with the scope to the line and if you manage to do this you will always have an incision and a trimming which goes to the center and the lesion and who participate to the ESD of the lesion if your knife is not oriented uh, to the center of the lesion it's less effective because it doesn't participate to the ESD of the targeted area. And in practice, you will have a, a complex movement uh, turning and rotating the scope in order to always doing up uh, and rotating the ankle uh, to have always the knife going to the center of the lesion and it will therefore participate to the ESD. So the exercise for you is probably to take a scope, put it in a box, stabilize, uh, stabilize it by the box, doing this site uh, with a lesion and line going to the center and trying with the scope to always follow the lines, staying parallel to the lines you have uh, down. If you do an incision which is linear, it will not help to go under the lesion. That's all for today, just an exercise. Uh, you can find the whole episode about incision in uh, the incision uh, podcast, which is very long. So we decided to split it and to show you some focus about uh, incision to help you in your ESDs. Thank you very much and see you soon. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your colleagues. Until next time, this is ESD School by Attract.